Hello guys, today I want to explain how you can make loopable or not loopable scroll box and for this I need to create the UI widget I will call this widget the scroll box but I need to call this and for that I will open the level blueprint I will mm, no, no, I will just get player controller. It's for add mouse input. Set mouse. Set mouse show cursor. And then we can create widget. and add this one what we made and to viewport okay now we add and add mouse and switch it and here we can add maybe some more canvas canvas panel and we can drag this guy put maybe here and inside we can put some buttons but for better uh, we can we need to scroll box first that scroll box like this we can scroll mm. we can change this later and inside we can add the size box it's better when you can size your buttons and it's size size box size box one but we need to make it horizontal yes horizontal and then we can just add the one more button button one and just copy this guy and paste inside this and again paste and it's not great uh, you can see the size of it and we can make it bigger that very helpful scroll box or uh, size box is very helpful for this and we can create a unique button and I will set for all this value. That's okay, we have three guys. This is two, this is three. Okay, we have the buttons and we can test it how it works. Okay, we have the viewport, we have the mouse, and you can see I can can press them, I can do something. We don't have a lot of buttons, but I will add more. And for better maybe understanding, I will add the color. Uh, first one will be green. This, I think, may be yellow. And the last one, mm, maybe purple. Okay. It's just for testing. Uh, then we can play with this, this scroll box just disable uh, you can just disable some parts of this if you don't need it uh, okay after we need to make the buttons uh, make scrollable from the touches for this we need to close this guy open here and we need to uh, set the click method to the uh, this click and touch method for the top now it will work for this all three button what I select and then I need to go to the project settings 
and I need to set my touches from the mouse because we will test in the PC mode from the Unreal Editor and use mouse for touch we need to enable it okay and now we can try to play with it as you can see oh we have the joysticks uh, touch and just disable this to make it clear we don't need the joysticks save play and you can see I can move something Th this colors is okay I will fix it we can now touch them and I just can copy and paste for different styles when you hover or maybe when you press oh no it's it's need to be yellow paste paste this is copy and paste to the hover and press purple color okay now we have we can check we have okay also we can add the panning inside inside the sync button style panning kiss and we can add uh, maybe five and five for every button from the left and to the right and for the last one also it's for better maybe understanding I will show you now if you see we have some maybe space between buttons okay I don't like this scroll box have it I can hide just them but I think show I don't know, it's, it will be like hiding all. I just don't like this. But okay, but okay. We can leave this for now. And uh, I will open the paint. And I will show you what I mean and what I want to do. We have different maybe buttons, like three. It's just for b better understanding. And we have different colors. I just set it to the one, two, three, and inside we have the size of these guys, and we will have the duplicate of these two guys at the left side and to the right side. It's duplicated buttons. One, two, three, and again. One, two, and the last one, three. And when we are going to this side from the center, we will move here. But we, we, need, we don't need to make it finish. When we will go to the this, at maybe here, when we will, at the here, we will set this position. When we will add this two, we will set this one position. Or, or we can just set again for the previous. And if we will go to the like this guy, we will set to this guy. Just we will set set position to them, and we will make loopable or not loopable. And if we don't need loopable, we can make a clamp and just stop of the size of the start and of the finish if we don't need it. Okay. I just want to copy them. To copy these two guys. This will be a mm, Xbox One button. Okay. But I think we can copy just this. Well, okay, to the right side we will have this. Mm, but it will be maybe for better understanding. 
I will write one more number. Okay. And then we need to add one more. Okay. And the last one. Okay. Now we have the buttons and we can scroll them. I will show you. Ah, okay. We need to start at the center. For this, how how can we do this? We can just open the our uh, this scroll box. Scroll down. Okay, I find we need to add this scroll box to the in variable to work in the event graph and after we will have the this new event event. And with this event we can check the size what we need. I will write the print string print string and we will check the value where we need to start at the middle. It's the best way. And we will scroll, I think maybe, ah oh, no, this is middle, yes. Okay. Okay. 600, okay. And on the start, on the event construct, we can just select again this guy, drag it, the scroll box, and pre-construct, it's called faster than constructing, we can set the uh, what what we need to set uh, how it calls set scroll box maybe mm. set scroll offset yes yes set scroll offset and inside we need to just put this middle value and we will check how it works now you see we are at the middle we start at the middle and after we can play with these values to make loopable okay with middle okay we understand these values also. Now we need to check how much size takes take one button. Okay, 200. And we have the panning of 5 and 5. And we can calculate this. It's... Mm, if you will calculate, it's easy, but... And plus 5, plus 5, okay, we have this size, and we can play with this now. When we will, mm, when we will scroll to the yellow, we can play with the yellow, because it's on the middle, like on the end, at this yellow, we will set new position, at the start, like, Okay, for this one we need to check the, okay, this one, this size, okay, 200, okay, at the 200, if we will have this value 200, we can play with this now, branch, if this, maybe we can, uh, maybe less less or equal 200 we can set another position if it's true and it's important for now if we will here here we need to set another position and this another position we can make it on the start like this okay 800 as i understand 
Yes, 800, okay. We will set for our scroll box new offset. A new offset will be 800. Like if it's true, we will make it 800. And also, we can we can check how it works. You can see. If we will jump to this value, 200, it will be set the new position. You can see, 200 and 800. We just jump, and we make loop for one part at the left side. And it's very easy to engine to, to, to work with this. It's no event logic or big arrays or a lot heavy, maybe different logic. It's easy. You can just set where, wherever you need the location of it. Also, we can do the to the left side the same. And we can make check again. With the branch also, we can connect this guy also to this, and if it will be false, we will also call this. And for this one, or we can just to make better understand, understanding put some points to add more clear blueprints to understanding. Okay. Now we need to check when we need to the right side, do the same logic. Okay, we will move to the this, yellow, okay, okay, 1000, okay. When we will have the 1000, 1000, we need to do something with it. We can just take it again. and connect this guy to here but we we need to know uh, yeah we need to know where we need to put this when we will have 100 at the right side this 100 this location we need to set this guy to the uh -huh, for 400 yes it's like, uh, no, it's 400 uh, here. And on the true, if it's true, we'll call this guy. If we will have at the right side, we will set at the middle again, at the, the same view. And if it's on the left side, oh no, no. Uh, Okay, we can just check it. I think it will be work. No, something bad. I think with the value, yes, here. We need maybe to change this to the bigger or zero. And connect the branch again. Yes, we can now check how it works and when we will go to the 300 or not 200 we'll jump jump you can see and at the right side again if we will go to the 100 1000 we'll jump you can see and now we have loopable scroll box also we can just if you don't like we can hide uh, this style it's possible when you just make it opacity to zero and for the all guys but it's take a lot of time I don't want to do this for now ah oh, okay we can just hide here and it will be faster but maybe for for tutorial we need to put it enable to check it how it works 
when we will have this position we just jump and it works like expected also how we can how, how we can add the loopable or not loopable uh, we need to create the bool variable this is loop just you can say uh, for for first time I think we need to make it loopable and uh, we need to take this bool variable and we can call the branch and inside we need to we need to check because if we will have loopable menu we need to call these guys to make loopable our logic but if we don't need to make them loopable we can uh, call the we can just take it to this guy if it's not loopable and just take a clamp clamp float put the value from the our value of scroll box and min max we need just to check what what the value we need to, to clamp and for now we have okay 600 okay or maybe not 600 maybe go more maybe go to the maybe 800 okay uh, max 800 and mean uh, wait mean it will be what okay 600 okay and now we can play I will check okay I can loop a bull move all works fine like accepted and now if I will change the this bull variable inside I can uh, I can clamp on this yeah I cannot move more I am clamped inside and with this just loopable menu or not loopable we can play and this clamp value just just set and we cannot go more or less it's just locked and also we can create the one button more uh, maybe to the canvas panel parent and add here and this guy will uh, will show loopable or not loopable it's just for testing maybe I will make it smaller and mm, we can just add for testing the button also and loop and when I will press this button also I need just take a text Ah, we need to make it uh, this text variable to check it. Uh, by default, we have loop. Ah, loop enabled. We have loop enabled. Or we can just play with this guy. If we, we will have the loop enabled, like true or false. And also at the start of the game uh, but it's I think not no need to do in this tutorial it's easy part but if it's loop we can say set text just set text inside this guy we can we can create also like select it's maybe select and just put it here and it's better because you don't need to use branch and if it's true loop if it's not loopable not not loop i will just okay and also it can we can do this the same as the start to understand we can make a function but it's only for testing can better understanding how we can create the loopable or not loopable scroll box in the Unreal Engine 4 and here uh, we just uh, will debug the text what we will have now and if we will 
uh, press this guy and mm, we need to know also yes maybe branch this branch maybe will be helpful but we can just do the same but we don't just duplicate to the new versions or you know we don't need these guys and inside here if we will have the true oh no we need to set we need to set them if we will have true we will set lo not loopable and if we will have false to the loopable and it's better to do after like we will do this check and after we can play with the text like this when we press when we will press the button we'll check is it loopable if it's loopable we are going to to disable this bool to make false and set the text of new version of it loopable or not loopable and again if it's not loopable we will set it's not loopable and set to this text and on the begin play we just say oh okay it's loopable say loop if it's not loopable we will set not loop and we have now true and we will check how it works now okay it's loopable you see i can loop and if it's not loopable ah we have the jump also if it's not loopable uh, if we will press we need to to do the middle to set middle position if it's not loopable we also need to make it at the middle maybe we can just connect with this because we had the jump now loopable all works and if i will press here not loop it's jump to not loopable at the middle and we just cannot move a lot because because we have clamp here and we cannot exit this clamp when we will not have the loopable and this even also calls when we move this guy scroll box to the left or right side or any direction of it hope guys it, this tutorial will helpful if you like it please like the video and you can write the comments i like this and goodbye guys bye